Hello and welcome back to the Cotswold Bees channel. You catch me taking a break with a uh, chocolate flapjack and cup of tea, or oh, recipe over on the website by the way, uh, while I'm preparing this WBC hive for a customer. And I thought I'd well, take the opportunity of just going through the difference between the National Hive and the WBC. Now, the National Hive you've seen in one of our previous videos, and I'll put a link to that down below. So we're just going to look at the WBC and how it differs. WBC is your traditional Winnie the Pooh hive. Um, doesn't stand for Winnie's Bee Centre, actually stands for William Brufton Carr who invented it. So what we'll do is I'm just going to finish my cup of tea and flapjack and then we'll take the hive to bits, have a look through it and see what the differences are. So I've now taken all the hive to bits and what we can see is the first big difference between the National and the WBC. The WBC has actually got its own stand and this stand has got a Varroa floor built into it with its own Varroa tray at the back. So we don't need to worry about actually building a stand. Now the brew box, well, that's fairly similar, except for the fact that we've got one frame less in the brew box for a WBC than the brew box for a National. So it's just that little bit smaller and it also restricts which way around we can put it. So the brew box goes on here in the usual manner. And then we've got the really big difference between the WBC and the National. And these are called lifts. So these are parts that go on the outside of the hive. This is the first one and it's got this porch on it and we can pop that on and you can see here the bees go in and out of this slot here. We've then got these castellated entrance blocks and what they do is just come down here and they slide into the side and so that one goes in that side and this one goes in here and we can vary the entrance by moving the castellated entrance blocks in and out. On top of the brew box, in the same way as with the National, we've got the Queen Excluder, and so we can pop the Queen Excluder on, except this one, unlike a National, which can go on any way, this one can't go on that way around. It has to go on the same way around as the frames because the brew box isn't square here. Next, on top of that, again, very similar to the National, we've got the first Super, and the supers are made of much thinner wood because they go inside the WBC, inside the actual lifts. So here goes our super. And then we've got another lift that goes on. And then if we're putting another super on, we've got one more super here. Just stacks on the top the same as it does with the National. and then we can put a lift on. Now one of the big differences with a WBC, and if we come over here and have a look through the top, is you can see that because it's got this outer frame on it, and then the hive inside, there's a gap all the way around, and this gap will provide extra insulation during the winter. It's particularly good if you're in a windy position. Then we've got the crown board <coughs> and here I've got left the Porter B escapes in just for the time being and we can pop the crown board on again just the same as the national so it's very similar to a national inside and outer casing. Then finally we have the roof. WBCs always come with a pitched roof. This can be a disadvantage because you can't turn it upside down and stack everything on top of it but they do look very pretty and we can pop the roof on and you'll see in each end of the roof we've got these ventilators which allow air to circulate but don't allow wasps or bees in. So that's our WBC hive, very pretty, very attractive. You'll notice this one's painted white. Now the thing with that is the purpose of painting them white is purely aesthetic. This is made out of western red cedar and so there's no problem at all leaving it out in its basic form. It'll just fade to a nice gentle grey colour. If you do that, no treating is required. This, this customer wanted the WBC painted white and that's a very traditional colour to paint hives, so we've painted it. 
The only downside with that is at the moment it looks really, really smart, but it will need repainting about every couple of years just to keep it in the condition it's in here. So it just depends what you want to do. If you don't want any maintenance at all, leave it the natural color. And if you want this smart white color or indeed any other color, you can paint it. Only paint the outside, that's really important. And remember that you will need to actually give it another coat of paint every couple of years or so. So that's the WBC, a really traditional looking hive. Great if you've got your hives where they're on show, maybe it's in a vegetable garden or something like that. They really do look much prettier than the nationals. Because they're smaller inside, there is an argument that says the bees will fill them quicker and might have a tendency to swarm rather quicker, <clears throat> but it's only going to be marginal. If you're a professional beekeeper, it's going to take you longer to inspect them because you've got more parts to take apart. But if you've only got two or three hives, it really doesn't make any difference. They are more expensive than nationals because they've got more woodwork associated with them, but you get what you pay for. And I think they look rather smart. And indeed, if they're going somewhere where members of the public are going to see them, or if it's in a garden where it's important that you have something that's really nice looking, go for the WBC rather than the national. My own preference is for nationals. They're easier to work. They don't cost as much and they're just as good for the bees, if not a little bit better because the brood box is slightly bigger. So that's it. You pay your money, you take your choice, but they really are very good, either the National or the WBC. So if you enjoyed the video, as usual, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you feel you can, please subscribe because that really helps us with our numbers. So until next time, happy beekeeping.